My mom and my sister are absolutely amazing. My mom's a single mom. She sacrificed a lot for me. Taught me discipline and respect. It's all weaved through my dancing. I started dance when I was seven years old, and my sister was uh, dancing before me. She's two years older than me, and as soon as I saw her dance, I was like, wow, I want to do the same thing as that. She's just absolutely amazing. She helps me out with everything, and I want to do the same for her. I do jazz, tap, lyrical. I try to infuse every single style of dance in one style. <laughs> Tell me about your audition. What are you going to do? There's something special for the judges um, that they might not know, but it's an improv. <laughs> Risky, but oh so interesting. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous, actually. So you think you can dance? It's definitely like a childhood dream, and I want to make that dream come true. And cue music. My gosh, you were so strong. You were doing things I've never seen before. <laughs> At one point, you jumped up and you get so high off of the ground, and you kicked up your leg, and the other leg came up, and then you came down, and it was just, Possible. it looked impossible, but you did the impossible today. Bravo. <laughs> you, sir, are going to be a star. Have you done any professional dancing? I'm with uh, Charles Wall's Sydney's dance company right now. Yo, really? Well, he's very clever in grabbing you, young man. I have never seen a double leg swipe. I have never <laughs> seen things that you were doing there, ever. Uh, people are going to be copying those, uh, probably landing on the back of their heads or something, trying to do it. <laughs> but that was absolutely amazing. Can I just beg you to see that double swipe one more time? Sure. I just love you. I love the way you move. I love the way you think. You're a smart dancer. You have a different way of doing things. You're in the 10th dimension. I love you! But is he on the hot tamale train? Well, of course he is! <laughs> Listen, come and get your ticket for the Academy. <laughs> Academy.
Hoping he had more than one trick up his sleeve was Lex Ishimoto. We first met Lex at the New York auditions where he captivated our judges with his explosive talent. I have never seen things that you were doing there ever. did my best that I could, and now I just have to wait. <laughs> there is something so special about him. So special. He's such an amazing mover. Now the All-Stars will begin the process of building their teams. Deniable. They'll be asked to join a team immediately. I need you on my team. And if more than one All-Star wants them... Lex, I need you on my team. Lex, I want you on my team. <laughs> it's up to the dancer to decide who they want to work with. Gabby. As the All-Stars take their seats, it's time for performances to begin. Can I please have my team on stage? In Gabby's team are tap dancer Evan Di Benedetto, fusion dancer Lex Ishimoto, and flamenco dancer Natalie Delgado. Three, four, All three five, were out of their three, styles, seven. but in rehearsal, Lex was having trouble with more than just the steps. Hey Lex, there's a disconnect here. It's so serious. I want to watch all of you. You know what I mean? I'm really glad Sonia said that to Lex. We didn't feel like we could connect with him because he was so serious. That's gonna be an issue if he wants to be on the show. I now need to start thinking about who I want to bring with me. Leave it all on the floor like I know you can. Cue music. Lord only knows his heart is free. A brand new day is at my feet. I'm singing low, low and sweet. I've given more soul, I've given all of you. It all feels that like soul. shaking right now. I know exactly how you're all feeling. I asked you each to bring forth what you have to offer, and you did that. That being said... Natalie, this is gonna be the end of the road for you today. But thank you so much for bringing flamenco to So You Think You Can Dance, and for killing it in every round. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you on my team. Thank you guys for killing it. Thank you guys. It was an extremely tough decision, but the guys were just a bit above. I was very happy to see Lex prove that he is willing to let people in, and I feel like he is a contender. With Gabby's top two complete. So for the first time ever, you get the chance to dance with your all-stars. They have all choreographed a very special routine. And at the end of this round, they'll decide who they're going to take with them to perform live every week on our stage in Hollywood. Enjoy. Good luck. Can't wait to see. Woo! Choreograph a duet that they'll perform with each member of their team. All-star Gabby was ready to get to work. I just want to walk with both of them like this, making them smile the whole time. Evan Di Benedetto caught Gabby's attention from the start on day one. And he showed his versatility throughout each round. 
Tell me a little bit about why you want to be on the show. You obviously like saw something within me and like I want you to bring that out. That's good. I have to say I was very impressed with you because you came on as a tap dancer, but I was pleasantly surprised to see how well you did in every other round. It would be such an honor to be Gabby's partner. She can teach me a lot and really push me. I would love, 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 love to be on the show with her. Oh, we gonna stare at each other. Yeah, that feels right. <laughs> I am expecting Evan to be able to pick up the choreography perfectly because he is representing tap on the show. I also hope that Lex, because he's not in his specialty, he doesn't get too in his head. Did that feel better? Uh, no. Let's just run it again. Talk to me, what do you need? Uh, what is that last word? Brain fart. Happens. Lex, you've been trained to be very serious and professional, and that's who you are. But smile, because I know you can be funny, and I'm excited to help you do that. I feel like that was really good advice. Hopefully, Gabby has seen that transformation. Um, she definitely had, like, a big impact on it. Group hug. They left me. Love isn't the best place to find the lovers at the bar is where I go. Me and my friends sat at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. Hey! Come over and start up a conversation with Whoa. just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance. Now I'll take my hand, stop, find the man on the jukebox, and then we start to dance. And I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Hey. Your love was handmade for somebody like me, but now follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say, boy, let's not talk too much. Hey. Grab on my waist Whoa. and put that body on. He just did that tap routine right. with Gabby and he's contemporary is right, yeah. ridiculous. That is a great point. Yeah, Gabby, we were just, we were just yeah. talking about you. Boy, Evan, and the connection y'all had, I don't know if you felt it, but what we saw, we enjoyed it so much more. I've always been a fan of Evan, but when Lex finally smiled, was like, ooh, yeah. there's I a light bulb there. I feel like with Lex, even though I knew he could tap, I did feel that he was relying on me. And he makes me nervous for a live show because you don't get to go back and try another take. I mean, it's tough because I just think Evan's insane. But so was Lex. But so was Lex, not in his specialty. Yeah. So I'm just, oh. Oh. I don't know. What? After thousands of auditions and the most intense Academy Week we've ever seen, we are finally coming to you live from Hollywood. My top two dancers are Lex and Evan. So I have a contemporary dancer who can tap, and I have a tap dancer who can also do everything else. Honestly, I feel like the luckiest person in the world that these two are my final two, but that also makes the decision for me that much harder. Evan's insane. But so was Lex. Huh. Yeah. But so was Lex, and I'm not in his specialty. Huh? Yeah. So I'm just... Oh. Oh. I don't know. It would be such an honor to be Gabby's partner. I show her that I'm versatile, I show that I do every style. Ballroom, jazz, a group round, making up choreography. You know, she's, she's gotta believe in me and think that I can be her, her partner on the show. Gabby and a couple other people have told me that my personality is very introverted and stoic. Hey Lex, there's a disconnect here. I wanna watch all of you, you know what I mean? Lex, you've been trained to be very serious and professional, and that's who you are. But smile, because I know you can be funny. And bit by bit, like, my personality's coming out. Hopefully, Gabby has seen that transformation. Look at these smiles. I mean, look at these smiles. I know they're in there. I really do want this. I've been watching So I Think ever since it started, and it's a big dream of mine. Of course, I'm nervous walking down that green mile to the end, but, you know, I just hope for the best, like always. Woo. I'm shaking right now. I have to think about the person that I feel I can offer the most to, who honestly I feel like needs me a little bit more. The person 
I will be taking to the live shows with me is It's the wonderful Gabby and Lex! Ginger meets James Brown. I tell you, get on up. Mm -mm. Get on up. Fred and Ginger and James Brown all mixed <laughs> into one. Oh, they went crazy here in the studio, Nigel. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, but Anthony Morigerato's choreography always reminds me why I love show business. Uh, and it's just that wonderful style, sort of elegance of the 30s and 40s. And that was very similar to like uh, Fred Astaire, Eleanor Powell from uh, Broadway Melody of 1940, Begin the Begin. Uh, and it was just so elegant and beautiful. And talking about beautiful, Gabby, your hair, your whole look was so beautiful. <laughs> and your dancing was, reminded us all why you're a past winner of So You Think You Can Dance, beautiful. Okay, Lex, you are not a good all-round dancer. You're a great all-round dancer. Everyone is going to be picking on your personality. It certainly came out a little bit tonight. I didn't like the bit where you said, which is why my personality is coming out. <laughs> so you've got to work, and I want you to rehearse your personality and your performance just as much as your steps, because they're brilliant. And you're one of the best dancers I've ever seen. I, I saw you in Travis Wall's Shave and Sound. You were fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Vanessa. Yeah, you guys are oh, so good together. Gabby, you look stunning. So stunning. beautiful. Um, and Lex, I loved it. I totally saw your personality. There was like a really sweet, <laughs> bashful, charming thing about you. And I loved that. Yeah. It was so endearing. And I mean, the fact that you're tapping like that and that's not your specialty, I mean, it blows my mind. So fantastic. That flip, oh my gosh, I was like, please don't fall, please don't fall. <laughs> and you didn't, you nailed it. So bravo, congratulations. I and in tap shoes, I'm guessing that's pretty tricky. <laughs> pretty tricky, pretty, just pretty tricky, Mary. What did you think? Yeah, Lex, we're just gonna call you Mr. Talented. Holy smokes. You make me tap, tap, happy, and you know, forget about the personality. You know what? Keon, for weeks on end, we were going on, you don't have personality, you don't have personality. He won the show. You're going to have a breakthrough. You started here tonight, and I can see it. it's going to happen. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> but, Mary, is he going to go there on any form of transport, or 
Is he going to go there on any form of transport, or <laughs> should he one, hail a cab? There's only or... one board of transportation says so it's the hot tamale train. <laughs> She's back. She is back. It's in there. Tap it right in there. <laughs> oh, let's jump aboard, my friend. Go to fox.com slash dance for all the voting details. Voting opens at the end of the show. Let's hear it for them. Gabby and Lex, good job, you guys. Last week, your top ten were revealed and you finally got to cast your vote. Tonight, they all hit the stage again and we find out who stays and who goes. Got to be done. Welcome to So You Think You Can Dance. What did your first live show feel like? I felt pretty amazing. Just being on that stage was kind of surreal. I'm glad that we had that tap dance to show people that you have a personality. There was like a really sweet, bashful, charming thing about you. And I loved that. It's always been there. I feel like it's just putting it out even more than I than I normally do. You know we have the Argentine tango? Yep. I'm like really excited actually. I think it'll be great for you too to show the man side of Lex. Oh god. This is the week that Lex becomes a man. <laughs> okay. Even though he's still wearing a ponytail. Miriam and Leonardo have choreographed a pretty sensual Argentine tango. The passion is very important. Try to look for the moments that we get very, very close, intimate, almost like steamy. We are really, really close. It makes it a little bit awkward towards you. He needs to show that he's more in control of Gabby. Make her feel you are here with her. It's cool to be able to have Leonardo show me how to do those steps. Boom. Doesn't get closer than that. Ooh, we're definitely stepping on each other's toes a little bit and giggling when we get close, but we're going to snap out of it and hopefully pull through. <laughs> <laughs> than in rehearsals. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, Mary Murphy. I'm Hit telling, me with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kat, it's going to be a hot, sexy night, I have a feeling. <laughs> um, I actually would have liked the steam up a little bit higher at some times. I could see you guys really trying. There were some awkward moments in there. There were some spectacular moments, you know, when you lifted her easily into those slow moving walks everything kind of changed through there uh there was another moment where you lex you came right up behind her and in her left ear that was really kind of the essence you captured at that moment the feeling the, the sensuality of it all uh we need a little bit more of that through the whole routine but man talk about some incredible choreography that you had to learn <laughs> I'm telling you, great performance.
tonight, like a little bit hotter, but man, outside your style, you knocked me out. She's mad for it, that Mary Murphy. <laughs> Loves a bit of it. Nigel. I'm frying she's going to heat up a little too quickly tonight. <laughs> Um, I, I do think the tango it really is one of the most sexiest styles of dance ever. And if any couples out there are having personal problems, <laughs> they should go to a tango <laughs> class together uh, because it really helps. <laughs> would, would you like to teach me the tango, Mary? Uh, guys, no need to laugh that loud. <laughs> um, guys, uh, I thought the focus was really good. I thought uh, how you use the intensity of the movement along with the sexy parts of it was very strong. And Lex, you haven't been in your uh, genre at all. You did tap last week, you're doing the tango now. So I'm looking forward to your solo, which puts you back in your style. Yes. All right, good, yes. thank you. Vanessa. Woo! It's just so hot. It's too hot to handle. <laughs> Man, does the tango look good on you guys. Talk about some fancy footwork, my goodness. Wow. Um, you are shining up there. I love watching you dance. Just keep doing your thing, because it's incredible. <laughs> and if you want Lex to keep doing his thing, then you've got to vote. You can find the voting information for all methods and for the contestants at fox.com slash dance. Let's hear it for them. Gabby and Lex. Whoa. Lex! I'm a work with the yellow bird. There's nothing he can't do, that boy. There's nothing he can't do. It's incredible. We are live. Nine dancers take the stage with their all-stars to compete for your votes. But for one of them, their journey ends tonight. It all starts right now. Welcome to So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> Now it's time for another duet, and it looks like Lex and Gabby have their jazz hands ready. Take a look. So this week we have... Broadway. <laughs> so I happen to know that you have had some experience with Broadway. Uh, just a little bit. Um, I, when I was 11 or 12 years old, I went on tour with the first and second national tour of Billy Elliot the musical. 
So we're just going to tap into like 11 and 12 year old Lex uh, this week? Oh, I hope not. Yikes. Well, hopefully with like a little better technique. <laughs> This number is Gabby not wanting to have dinner with Lex. And Lex, through his dance, has to convince her to pay attention to him. This will be the fastest dinner. It's like speed dating. Ready? Speed dating. This dance is fast, right from the jump. It's a very, very, very high energy flirty chase. Ooh. It's like a blur. Ooh. Good, we've done 10 seconds. Ooh. That's a quick one. <laughs> The thing I love about this number is that it pushes Lex out of his comfort zone. One, two. He has to react to what Gabby's giving him. This dance takes me back to my childhood because it's basically the reason why I started dancing, just for the pure fun of it. <laughs> this is the most he's ever laughed. Day one, uh, I think it's pretty messy. It needs lots of cleanup. We have work to do. I'm interested to see if they make it across the finish line. The judges are on their feet. The crowd are going crazy. I think you two are still alive. Just, just nod your head at this point. Good. We'll come back for words in just a minute. <laughs> Nigel. Well, well, well. <laughs> um, it was Bette Midler singing, and if anyone follows my Twitter, they'll know that I went to see Bette Midler in Hello Dolly this weekend. She's amazing. She's amazing. Oh my God. Impeccable comedy timing, brilliant, heart-wrenching. Uh, emotion and heart-stopping choreography by this guy, Warren Carlyle. Congratulations, Warren. And that's what you were given tonight, you guys. I think what you've got to do is breathe in at the beginning of the routine and <laughs> breathe out at the end of the routine. Yep. The rest of it, you know, if anyone says, Lex, that you haven't got a personality, get them to watch this routine, because that was fully there. <laughs> Fabulous work. One of the highest leg swipes we've seen. It was tremendous. Really good. And thank you, Warren. Terrific stuff. Vanessa. That was so good. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, it, it always surprises me, your control that you have over your body. Like, you seem so aware of every single inch of your body. And it's, you just nail things with the drop of a hat, and you make it look so easy. That was so fast. It was no joke. But you absolutely crushed it. You acted it out amazingly. And it looks like you were having the time of your life, which made us all have the best time as well. So, yeah. bravo. Yeah. yeah. Bravo. Mary. We talk about dancers dancing their patooties off. <laughs> We're talking about this number. Holy smokes! What is a patootie? A patootie is your whole body and a little bit of booty. That's a patootie. Oh. And that's what they did. This number had everything.
thing. It was pure entertainment. Only Lex can do a jump and have both of his feet out in front of his body at the same time. It was crazy. And you know, we're in the third week, getting tired. Who lowers himself down on his chair with one leg with the other one sticking straight out? Only you, young man. It was one great moment after another. train if you loved it too then you need to go to fox.com slash dance for all the voting details voting opens at the end of the show so are you alive now i'm not sure we might need oxygen i think i'm good you're, you're, you're okay and you've done every different style of dance is there anything that you haven't done before his own style oh, oh, uh, oh. river dancing river dancing you've never done river dancing i don't think so <laughs> okay. Well, you could. You never know. Let's hear it for Gabby and Lex, everybody. We've got more duets, more solos. We're going to see you after the break. See you. Time for another solo. He's back and he's in his own style. Ladies, go crazy. It's Lex. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. He's incredible. Lex, everybody, let's hear it for Lex. Tonight, only eight contestants remain, and for the first time this season, they start dancing with each other. Welcome to So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> This is a story about a guy who is his own worst enemy. You get in your own way, and that you are the one that stays by him through all of it. I'm super excited. It's been a while since I've got to do my own style. Oh, so pretty. I'm so excited that he finally gets to show more of what he does. I feel like a lot of people don't really know that you're like, Technique Nation. Oh, yeah. not, no. But you are. No, no, no. Lex has this giggle thing he does when he's like really excited about something. <laughs> <laughs> An awkward laughing giggle. What? 
was it incredible? Yeah. Was it like Lex Nation? Uh, <laughs> I really don't know what Lex Nation is. I'm just gonna roll with it, you know? Lex Nation. <laughs> I mean, it was no river dance, but it was good. Mm -hmm. Vanessa. Oh. Well, Lex, I am so happy that you had Mandy Moore choreograph an insane routine for you in your own style. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so beautiful. You are, I, you, you always blow me away. You are such a phenomenal dancer. Your jump split that you did. Gabby, when you held him, you were just sideways. The amount of strength that that takes and the emotion that you had, it was just so beautiful. I couldn't help but get like so sucked in and just pulled into that world. It was beautifully portrayed. I loved it. Mary, <laughs> in his own style. Yeah, inside your style, I mean, we knew coming in that you're going to annihilate this most likely, and you sure in the heck did. It was phenomenal. Your strength, your balance, uh, the leaps, how incredible, the way that you land them. You could hear a pin drop in here when you do that. That's the power dancer that you are. Your performance has come up every single week. It's an emotional performance. It, you are so dynamic and young man, that turn on one foot <laughs> with your other leg straight out in front. I mean to tell you, it was crazy, some of the moves. It went from one great moment to another. Spectacular. You're someone that's heading towards the finale. Wow. Nigel. I've got to say, I particularly like the low spin move into the um, arabesque ponche, and then up and, uh, and round. It, it was stunning to watch. It just didn't stop. Uh, and, and Gabby, you must have thought you won the Powerball Lottery when you got him <laughs> as your partner this year. I mean, whatever happens on this show, Lex, you are going to be a highly respected dancer. You are magnificent. Your lines look like they've been created by an architect. You are absolutely mind-blowing. I've run out of superlatives when I talk about you. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Effortless and wonderful. Really good. Maybe river dancing next. Maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. Remember, SMS voting is available on all wireless carriers and message and data rates may apply. Oh, wasn't it lovely? Let's hear it for Gabby and Lex. get to our first contestant contestant routine Lex and Taylor got paired together for a classical jazz piece from Spencer Liff and it seems that our two dancers may have had a bit of history maybe 
How do you feel so far in this competition? It's been really great to, you know, be here with you. And it's crazy that we met, like, at a dance event. Lex and I actually met over a year ago at the Dance Awards Nationals, and then the owner of the convention hired us to come on tour with them. It's insane, like... Yeah, here they are. And now we get to dance with each other. And you've been killing it every week, so, oh, I mean... You it's, have. It's, hopefully I don't <laughs> hold you down. <laughs> cut, cut. Transition. This week, we are doing this sophisticated, jazzy piece that I want to feel like a fantasy dream sequence. You're both birds. A beautiful caged bird and a wild raven that flies to the window every night to see her. She's a bird and I'm a bird, and it's like a love story, a romantic type vibe. <laughs> That's it. I'm asking them to fall in love on stage, which is sometimes a little tricky when you got two 19-year-olds. Get to her! Dancers in general, it's hard to emote our real-life experiences. It's so vulnerable. If I can go to that level with her, then I feel like that's where the magic will happen. Hopefully these two lovebirds fall in love on stage. That's a very comfortable position to make out in. <laughs> routine I used to dream of as a little girl. Oh, the judges are standing up. This is very... Sorry? I... Oh, yes. Pink is your colour, it turns out. Uh, Vanessa. Well, first of all, I just want to say, Spencer Lift, I would pay good money to see that on Broadway because that was phenomenal. <laughs> so incredible. Woo! My God. Okay. Lex and Taylor, this is an insane duo for you guys to be paired together, it's like kind of mind blowing. You guys are so talented. The way you played your characters, you were birds. You transformed into these animals and it was so dynamic and so grounded. When you lifted Taylor, I felt like you were actually flying. Like it was just beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Bravo. Incredible. <laughs> Bravo. Very. <laughs> We all stood up there. It, there's nothing to hate about that number. It's nothing but love. I mean, I love the concept, too. It was really great. And, Taylor, your legs go on forever. And the fact that they were rhinestoned on top of it, boy, is that a ballroom <laughs> girl's dream, let me tell you. And Lex, so strong coming out. I mean, it, it reminded me of Hawk and uh, the hummingbird. It was just uh, amazing. You're a great dancer. <laughs> Nigel? One of the best dance routines ever on So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> no, 
No more words than that, Cat. That's it, everybody. One of the best routines ever on So You Think You Can Dance. Put your hands together for Lex and the gorgeous Taylor. Thank you, guys. Fly away, my beauties, my pretties. Tonight, it's another epic evening of dance as your top seven hit the stage. And it's a big one because your votes from this evening's performances determine who moves on to our finale. It's in your hands, America. Welcome to So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> the night Lex and Gabby got to sit down right before they had to get down in this week's hip hop routine. Take a look. Halfway through the competition, how has your family responded to what you've done on the show? My sister's super supportive. Um, she's been to the last three shows, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't been able to talk to my mom as much as I want to. And I have like pressure from my mom. She expects a lot, so hopefully I can make her proud. We're gonna make mama proud. Absolutely. This week we have hip-hop. Yeah, I'm excited, <laughs> but nervous at the same time. I'm just gonna ask Comfort for some advice. <laughs> okay, let's go find Luther. <laughs> do it. Dude, with Lex and Gabby, we're just doing straight fire, straight dancing. Something to show their personalities even more. It's just dance, dance, dance for your life. But secretly, you guys are kind of competing with each other, and you're kind of trying to one-up each other anyway. I know people know Lex is dope, but I think finally he's gonna be able to show people how he has fun. It's been like technique central ever since this show started for me, so it's good to like just kick it back and enjoy it. This is something that he really enjoys and gets really hype about, so I don't think people are gonna be expecting it. Let's go! Yo, he's dope! Lex be killing this hip hop. This is like a whole different animal. We'll see how it goes. I'm the happiest Smurf in the village, I can tell you that. Thank you and thank you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crumb allowances for nesting on them with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lips and back I'm down in this. Who say with my
joke just went viral. Hey, watch my soul speak. You let the mess talk. Hey, if I kill an arm, it won't be the alcohol. Hey, I'm the realest arm. Um, Good, it was strong. Lots of that face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mary. Cat, I'm out of breath for God's sakes. My God. Okie okay, damn donkey Luther. <laughs> you took it to a whole nother level tonight. And I do mean that, a whole nother level. Oh my goodness. And Gabby, uh, you're on fire every single second out there tonight. I have to say something about you. And let Nation, let me tell you, you destroyed every second of that. You energized every little nuance the entire routine, and that was an exhausting routine, but you kept it at a peak level. Your isolations were so off the chart, it was crazy to me. Oh my gosh, you are the Iron Man of this competition, and like Luther says, who knew you were gonna be just dope tonight, didn't you? <laughs> When she gets street, it's the best. Okie damn oh, dokey. I, I sit here with this sort of stank look on my face going really, 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 really. Uh, What the hell am I doing over here? Um, listen, you didn't only make your mum proud tonight. You made me proud, Lex. When I first envisaged this So You Think You Can Dance, I wanted people to respect every single genre of dance, and I wanted dancers to be capable of doing every genre of dance. You prove that that is possible. And that makes me so very, very happy. That's right, that's right! Vanessa? Yeah, I mean, they took the words right out of my mouth. You really do have the ability to do all these different styles, and you do them so well. I think it can be scary when you have a contemporary dancer doing hip-hop, because sometimes they can't sit in the pocket, but you just kill it. You sat in that pocket. You were low. You were dirty. It was just fire. It was hot. Insane. Just so good. It's insane. Insane. <laughs> Lex, how was it for you doing hip hop this week? I loved it. It was very, very enjoyable and it was hype with her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's it been like dancing with Gabby? Make it good. Yeah, make it good. Yeah. I mean, She's amazing to dance with, so yeah. like it's an honor. Yeah. And it, every single stage, like time on the stage is an honor as well. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. Good answer. Great. That's what girls like to hear. <laughs> We're irreplaceable. That's what girls like to hear. Remember, you can super vote for all of the contestants tonight at fox.com slash dance or on the Fox Now app. Voting opens at the end of the show and closes at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. You can vote 20 times per contestant per vote method. All the girls suddenly went, oh, he's, oh, he's so cute. Gabby and Lex, everybody! I recall this next dancer kicked off the show with a hip-hop routine, but did you know that's actually how Lex got his start? Well, sort of. Take a look. When I was a kid, I was definitely super energetic, just like constantly moving nonstop and just hyper, I guess. <laughs> I started dance when I was seven, saw the movie You Got Served, and also saw my sister dance, and I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> I started with hip hop and tap. My first performance was at seven. I was doing a hip hop piece. Uh, it was pretty horrible. It was uh, pretty tragic. Um, <laughs> don't really want to talk about what I was wearing, but it just looked terrible. 
going at it. <laughs> it's pretty hard to watch that, actually. So you think you can dance so far tonight. Your top seven have each danced a duet and a solo. Now they're about to take the stage with each other in a pair of group numbers. First, let's see what happened when Lex, Kaylee and Logan got together to learn a routine from legendary choreographers Dwight Roden and Desmond Richardson. Take a look. Oh. Today, me, Kaylee and Lex have to do a piece choreographed by Dwight and Desmond. And they are absolute legends. Yeah, seven. To share the room with Desmond, kind of just like look at him like, oh my God. <laughs> These dancers are really, really versatile. They have such a wealth of talent. Yeah, we are super excited to see what else that we can draw out of their repertoire, if you will. So the choreography is pretty difficult. A lot of it has to do with listening to each other. So if you're not so easy to get off count. Talk. Tuck, mm, tuck. It's not necessarily about getting it perfect, but it's more so the feeling. As dancers, we're open vessels where everyone is super unique. We have to connect our own individual strengths in order for this to work. Cool. Yes, yeah. The yeah. fact that this piece is being abnormal and you have like three of the opposite kind of dancers doing it is the perfect scenario. With this piece, we hope that it would signify within our difference that we find our commonality. Genius choreographers, and that is what you get, Nigel. It's a lot to say, and I know we're running out of time, but with Dwight Roden, you've got one of the best contemporary choreographers in the world, and with Desmond Richardson, one of the best contemporary dancers in the world. <laughs> and they are choreographing this. Let me start very quickly with Kaylee. Kaylee, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea because you are unique. And I love that fact in you. Yeah, but it doesn't work for everybody. 
but they gave you a routine for you to equal two of the best contemporary dancers in this competition in these two boys. And you kept up with them brilliantly. Logan, you have the most incredible lines and great strength. Uh, I've got to say, though, uh, there is something about Lex that just amazes me. Les, I've got to go back to your solo. I have never seen a triple tour in my entire Woo! life. And you did that. And now in this routine, you do a double tour on Lair and end up in an arabesque. It's, you know, you're mind blowing. What can't you do, young man? Uh, I just hope, I can't wait to see this on the tour because I know it's just gonna be sensational from you three. Terrific, thank you. Vanessa? I mean, seeing the three of you guys all together honestly makes my heart explode. <laughs> um, it's just stunning. It's, it's stupendous. Mary? You guys? Out of this world, Kat. We're out of time, but I, I love all three of you. And Kaylee, you are showing us who you are tonight. Put your hands together for Lex, Kaylee, and Logan. Guys, great job. After the break, Kiki. Tonight, brace yourselves for a show packed full of sensational dancing and the season's first double elimination as we reveal your top four. Welcome to Say so You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> right to our first couple. Let's see what happened when Lex and Gabby got together for a sultry samba. Take a look. No pressure, and I don't want to jinx anything, but you haven't been in the bottom any week. Do you feel any pressure for you, or does it motivate you? Yeah, it's, of course, like pressure, you know, because mm -hmm. you've set that bar high. There's no going back. It's only forward. So this week we have the samba. Yeah. We're back in ballroom. Yep. Sexy Lexi, take two. Ooh. The story of this is Lex and Gabby are in love, and they're celebrating their love through dance. You're going to be topless for this, right? Ooh, ooh. It's very, like, seductive, very sexy, and I am definitely not sexy. Play those congas. Five, six. <laughs> I just need Lex to man up. I want Lex to just devour me. But at the moment, it looks like you're about to have a divorce. <laughs> I've never done the samba before, so this is a really new experience for me. Keeping the samba bounce. The samba bounce is where you use the compression of the knees to go up and down, and Lex is finding it a little bit difficult. Samba is hard! Everything was a bit wonky. 
This is a very hard routine. I am just like clunky McGee falling on the One, ground. Two. Yes, yes, yes. We're kind of doing this <laughs> while we're trying to do the lift, but we just need to do this. Oh, God. <laughs> Get those ladies ripped, yeah? permission to play a girl's butt bongos otherwise you get thrown over the shoulder next time that's permission okay mary do it cat do it next time that's permission <laughs> to play my yes, butt bongos do it. Woo! holy foosballs that routine was just ricocheting all over the floor what an incredible routine by sasha farber wow incredible <laughs> some of the butterfogos you nailed some you didn't nail some others a little bit hoppy your week is when you get into a frame you kind of lose your posture but everything started to elevate once you start getting into the loose african style movement everything was so rhythmical and wonderful i mean it was absolutely terrific uh my goodness the two of you together the last 20 seconds for me were absolutely on fire She snuck up on us there, Mary Murphy. She snuck up on us. Nigel. Have you ever taken any ballroom lessons, Lex? Uh, my mom was a professional ballroom dancer, but not really. I mean, classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you should have taken them. Yeah, I mean, it teaches you so much, and it's amazing. It's not in a lot of dancers' repertoires. So if you get a chance now, especially as you're going on tour, and so you think you can dance, take some ballroom lessons. Uh, but other than that, it was a great show, Samba. I loved watching it. A lot of energy to kick the show off. Thank you. Lovely. Vanessa. I feel like you don't even need classes because you were so outstanding. You just murdered that routine. Your guys' partnering together is mind-blowing. Your punctuation on everything was stupendous. It was just it was beautiful. I loved it. You crushed it. Crushed it and murdered it in a good way. And you've never done ballroom on this show before either, have you? Never. You've uh, never ever done it? Other than our Argentine tango, no. Yeah, that, that's it. Mm -hmm. and, and how did you find it? Very difficult, but Sasha's amazing. Oh. Thank you, Sasha. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. You guys did a great job. Remember, you can super vote for all of the contestants tonight at fox.com slash dance or on the Fox Now app. Voting opens at the end of the show and closes at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. You can vote 20 times per contestant per vote method. He's still breathing like this. <gasps> Put your hands together for Gabby and Lex, everybody. <laughs> he shows us his solo. Let's find out who's been inspiring Lex all the years here. Take care. <laughs> 
There's one person in particular that shaped me as a dancer and even as a person I am today, and that's Zach Ryan Shegel. He's really one like him, and I wanted to do just that. I've been training Lex since he was nine years old at West Coast School of the Arts. My movement and my class philosophies were in line with where he was headed in his artistry, and he sort of gave it a go, and he rose so quickly, and we sort of really began to build a language together. Zach is responsible for how I dance right now. The confidence that he's given me is definitely, like, life-changing. It's a little unreal to see him in such a shining light. He belongs on that stage. Lex, I'm unbelievably proud of you. I'm with you through all of this, and I love you. Looks like they've got more in common than just dance. Take a look. Oh my gosh, are you excited? I'm super excited. Two Japanese people. Oh yeah, that's pretty So cool. you think you can dance first time ever? Ah, kyo, kyo toire itta? Kyo toire itta? Nande kanzo hashite nande? I just asked Alex if he went to the bathroom today. And I said, why are we talking about this? That's so awkward. Lex and I have disco this week. Whenever I think about disco, it's just fun, fun. exciting. And I just think of a big disco yeah. ball. Yes. Yeah. And all the lights flashing and we're just like going so on. This disco is all about having fun and going super fast and hanging on for dear life. Yeah! There's big arms, sharp movements. It's fun, it's high energy. It's unbelievable that this is the first time they've danced together because they partner so well. And so I'm so excited to see them do all the crazy lifts. And sparkle feet. And go, The go, lifts. Go, 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 oh my goodness, Doriana, she is not playing around. I'm just throwing her up there and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And then I put her down. It's okay. It's okay. We have a lot to practice. Lex should do like a million push-ups to get ready for this routine. We don't want anybody to go splat. Okay. Okay. Sure? Okay. 
Mary. Wow, what an incredible, tough routine by Welcome Back, Doriana Sanchez. Amazing. <laughs> Lex, that was so tough. I'm telling you, I know how hard it is on you. That first turn you did in the beginning of the routine down the floor, insane. Oh, my gosh. I think there was about six lifts there, with one series being incredibly long, going from a, a how-to-do lift down to the center of your body and then down into an arabesque step, a standing, running around. Incredible. Point A, you made it look like a walk in the park. You had a little bobble up there, but everything went great. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you okay? Good. What's oh, happened? Good. What has happened? I know something's happened. Something's What's happened? happened? Oh, no, no, I just have like got three cuff injuries and... But are you Eight okay? Because I can feel you shaking. Good. Sure. Let's go. Nigel. Okay. Uh, it's funny because Doriana Sanchez was a brilliant dancer. She was in the original movie of Dirty Dancing. But when the kids see your name and they're going to be dancing for you, they get scared stiff because they know they're going to breathe in at the start of the routine and breathe out at the end of the routine. It is nonstop, and you both did it brilliantly. Little bit of a hiccup at the end of the routine. Koine, you just showed us that you are still the best performer this season for me. And Lex... The best advice I can give to you, Lex, take a hot bath and get plenty of sleep tonight. Good lad. Uh, Vanessa. Yeah, for real. I'm so concerned about you. I'm sending you healing, yeah. positive, ah. healthy vibes. Ah. Good goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less than outstandingly, amazingly, mind-blowing, incredible from the two of you guys. You're both such amazing performers, and always give it your all. You adapt to every single dance style there is, both of you. You're just outstanding. I adore you guys. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay, let's hear it for Koine and Lex. Now, hold on. Before you guys go off, we're going to do things really quickly here. Tonight, we're going to do things a little differently, and it's actually time for some results, but I'm going to be quick, okay? Right now, I'm going to send one of you into next week's finale, and the other one will have to wait till the end of the show to find out their result. The first dancer to make it into our top four and into our finale is... Lex. Get off this stage. Go have some water. Go down there. Come on, stay here. You go and stand with Gabby. You stay here with me, sweetie. Get some water. Hold on. Point A. That means you'll have to wait until the end of the show to find out if you will be joining him. But we'll see. It's going to be a tense night. More incredible performances and more of your results. Tonight, your top four are fighting to the finale. All your votes count, and it's your final chance for them to impress you. We get one step closer to revealing America's favorite dancer. This is So You Think You Can Dance. Si el ritmo te lleva a mover la cabeza y empezamos como es Mi música no discrimina a nadie así que vamos a romper Toda mi gente se mueve Mira el ritmo como lo tiene Hago música que entretiene El mundo nos quiere, nos quiere, me quiere a mí Toda mi gente se mueve Mira el ritmo como los tiene, hago música que entretiene, mi música los tiene fuerte bailando y se baila así. Hey, hey,
thought we'd better double up on the choreographers. So, take a look. What are you doing here? Well, I have rehearsal for the top four. Yeah, me, me too, yeah. I was supposed to choreograph the top four. I was supposed to choreograph the top four. Or we're doing it together. <laughs> this was super cool. Travis Wall and Chris Scott, they're gonna make some magic. And here we are, top four. We've been talking about it for a while, like we wanted to collaborate on a group routine. It's finally happening. We wanted to create a piece that doesn't feel like the four of us are dancing the same exact thing. What better way to do that than the elements? Koine, you're Earth. Feels pretty cool to be Earth, I feel like. <laughs> Very grounded. Back to here. Taylor being when she has such a graceful way of moving. Kiki is fire, like a wildfire. It's really hard to contain. Flames wrapping around him. Flex, you're water. We're kind of building the style off of who they are as individuals. Wind, you affect everybody. So if you're spinning, everybody's getting blown away. They're also battling for power. Think about what water does to fire and what fire does to earth. We're all just coming together to make this really powerful piece, and it's going to be amazing. Top Our top four are pairing up in every way imaginable. Now, Lex and Koine are back together for an Owl Blackstone Broadway number that promises to be anything but cheesy. You'll see what I mean. Take a look. This routine is very romantic, a bit sexy, and it involves pizza. Anybody hungry? Yeah! <laughs> I love pizza. This is for you. Oh, God. This is top four week and tensions are high at this part of the competition. I wanted to just do something that felt fun and sort of silly. Smooch. Ooh, good. Lex and I need to just really tap into the characters of this week's dance. Pizza and Lex. Exactly. <laughs> I did a Broadway tour when I was a little kid. It was difficult for me to tap into an emotion. I felt like a fool. You'll have to act here. Yes. But now it's more loving to make other people laugh and make myself laugh. I think it's really important for dancers to not take themselves so seriously all the time. Yeah. That's good. That's it. That's funny. I would laugh at that. <laughs> I can't wait for the audience to just watch us be goofballs. <laughs> wait, for real? Wait. That was amazing. <laughs> Pizza! This says, enjoy your delicious moments. This moment right here. That's good advice. <laughs> It's for the way you look at me. Oh, 
is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore can love. Is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can't make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. Nigel. Kat, I think every choreographer will tell you it's really difficult to choreograph a comedy routine. It can end up so cheesy and, you know, people just go, ugh. Al Blackstone, you did such a good job on that routine. <laughs> there were so many moments that were laugh out loud moments. Now, when we first started this series, I think I wasn't the only one, Lex, to want more performance from you. Look at how you've grown. I mean, goodness me. Koine, as well as, you know, there's a lot of fun in it. All of a sudden, there were some brilliant ballet steps thrown in in the middle of it. it. You know, not only did you do every sort of nuance that was required of you, your technique is fabulous too. Excellent routine, excellently danced. What did you think, Vanessa? Excellent routine, excellently executed. It was just excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> that routine was so winning. You guys together were so fantastic. I don't think I've laughed so hard at a dance routine before <laughs> in my life. Like, that was hysterical. It was one of my favorites, to be honest. When you came off the couch and when you guys were in unison, it was just, like, mind-blowingly dynamic. I just loved it. It was amazing. Yep. Thank you. Mary. <laughs> Everything in it, and the two of you danced it beautifully. Koine, you seem to make it look just effortless and natural. Uh, it's not a surprise for me. Lex, I did not see you coming in this number. I'm telling you, I can't believe you pulled this off, and you looked amazing doing it. It was the funniest thing. This is gonna go down as one of my favorite routines in the history of So You Think You Can Dance. I loved it. I think what Mary's trying to say is there's going to be a very big tip for you, young man, before you leave here. Let's hear it for Lex and Koine, everybody. Lex wasn't born to be a dancer, but he works so hard, and, you know, he grew so much on the stage. I'm always proud of him. He's my son. Yeah. Lex?
that we've seen the ladies in action. Shall we see what the fellas can do? Good idea. Okay. Well, this week, Kiki and Lex got down with Luther Brown. Take a look. You gonna grab onto his jacket? Oh, just hella sweaty. Oh. <laughs> For the first time this season, it's a guy's dance between me and Daddy Kiki. So the whole point of today is smash for the cash and the girls can't beat y'all. Okay, thank you. And break. I didn't know Lex before this show at all. And then once we started the season together and now we're roommates, he's like a little brother to me. My relationship with Kiki is super dope. I feel like we clicked right off the bat and it's like a really good vibe whenever I'm with them. They're like romancing it up. Which is good, but for this routine, you gotta come off like y'all are crew. This is sort of like the last hurrah. So it's just go out with the bank and have the most amount of fun that we can. Ooh, me, me. Lex and I, Monday night, Luther Brown Hip Hop, we're gonna kill it. Mary Murphy, almost. I mean, that isn't either of your specialties, and yet you rocked it. Like you rocked it. <laughs> Vanessa, cool well, and contemporary. I know. I think that we got to give it up to Luther Brown because he makes these boys get down like wow. no other man. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> That was just so good. I, I loved it that you guys, uh, hip hop's not your thing, but you both just crushed that as if it was your thing. Um, I see like a total, like that, that was the ultimate bromance routine. <laughs> <laughs> like just give it up for the bromances out there because that was it. Like if they could do that, they would want to do that. That was amazing. <laughs> Very. I love how you guys were just sitting down in it and also kind of directing each other's move. Like, you do something, tick, tick. You do something, tick, tick. No, well, we both going to do it really hard. I mean, it was so much fun. Luther said, smash for cash. I have a feeling there could be some cash coming to either one of you real soon. Ooh. Ooh. Going there, people. Come a long way. She's going there, Nigel. Wow. Lex, you're just so good at everything you're asked to do with the possible uh, samba was a bit iffy. But, <laughs> but, but something, something that a lot of people don't realize is how humble you are. And with all the heaps of praise that is, you know, heaped on you, 
uh, you remain humble, and that is a fantastic part of your character, and I love you for that. Okay, listen, Kiki. Kiki, I want you to take a look at this, because this is how you started in the series. Now, at this point, at this point, I wouldn't have even put you in the top 10, never mind the top four. So I remember saying to you early on, bloom wherever you're planted. You haven't just bloomed, you've blossomed. In fact, you've sprouted. You've sprouted wings. You are really a different dancer than when you came to us. And that is fantastic. together for Kiki and Lex, everybody. Happy birthday to Luther. Luther Brown, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Luther. Sending big love your way. Let's hear it for Lex and Kiki, everybody. Okay. You ready, Lex? She <laughs> just had to congratulate me. Can someone record this? <laughs> <laughs> Top four. Congratulations. Thank you. Take me back to your first audition and what that was like for you. First audition, it was definitely crazy. I didn't know what I was doing. What are you going to take? There's something special for the judges. It's an improv. <laughs> I didn't have any material, so I was... Freestyled everything. Oh, wow! Wow, double swatch. You go up on stage and you do your thing and it's over like that, you know? A blur, so, yeah. Like, definitely a blur. But you got your ticket. What did it feel like when it was like four out of all the all-stars raised their hands to pick you? Lex, I want you on my team. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> it was super exciting and very humbling, but it was also like kind of confusing because like now there was like a moment of like choosing, you know? How'd you choose me? Uh, it was just like a random, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, it just was like, nah, nah, any, nah. meeny, miny, mo, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like whenever people around you, it's always like a positive energy and you make people laugh. So yeah, I felt really comfortable around you. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> so the talk of the season was, does Lex have a personality? And I feel like you have shown that you are comfortable enough to share that personality with everyone. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really like a personality guy. Like <laughs> I'm very dry. I'm a very dry person, you know. But I did the best that I could. <laughs> if anyone says Lex that you haven't got a personality, get them to watch this routine because that was fully there. Fabulous work, tremendous. So we've done a lot of different styles throughout this journey. What was your favorite dance we got to do? Tap. I feel like that really took me back to when I first started dancing, and I feel like. When we all started, we did it purely because of the fun of it. And um, it was just like a blast. I'm proud of you already. There's still more work to be done. Yep. Let's finish it strong. Let's do it. Give me a hug. Oh, God. Uh, Such a good hug. <laughs>
thing is that to turn around with joy, to kick the happiness and then the flip. It's the gift that keeps giving. Nigel. Ah, I love it. What, what is with these choreographers? You know, it starts off really simply and then it just builds and builds and builds. And knowing how much you've got to do this week, the amount of routines you've got to do, it's incredible that you remember everything. It really is. I've not seen tap dancing like that with the splits and the somersaults and everything since the Nicholas Brothers. Not even <laughs> Fred Astaire could do that. It's wonderful. And you two just sit so comfortably together in tap. It's beautiful to watch. It's Fred and Ginger. It really is. Well done. Fred and Ginger. Vanessa. OK, I have to say, I have the hiccups. So in, in case this happens, <laughs> that's what's going on. Um, you guys together is just absolutely magical. Lex, you float across the stage. You must have a guardian angel that has given you wings because gravity does not defy you. You float, you fly, and it is just <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> and hard work, Mary. Lex, you came into this with a secret weapon, and it certainly was your tap. It's on fire to watch your feet just tapping away up there, and the amount of different kinds of sounds that you were able to produce is incredible. I loved every second of you dance and tap, and I'm glad you picked it tonight. Well, if you loved every second of it too, <laughs> it's in your hands, America. Remember, you can super vote online at fox.com slash dance or by using the Fox Now app. There's a limit of 20 votes per contestant per vote method. Voting closes at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. I just remember you said, oh, yeah, I'm just going to busk it. I'm just going to make something up for my audition. Let's hear it for Gabby and Lex, everyone. Taylor, and even though it's only their second time dancing together, finding that all-important chemistry might not be an issue. Take a look. It's Mia Michaels. She's a legend. It's really surreal having her in front of our eyes and doing a piece with her. I want to talk about this piece. I want it to be about the kind of love that takes your breath away sometimes feels like you're falling into the abyss. Have you ever experienced that kind of love before? Or is yeah. it something? <laughs> Guys? Yeah. OK. Yeah. And I'm experiencing with her. This is yeah. happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lex and I both looked at each other, and we were like, well, this is funny, because we're actually in a relationship so crazy, I had no idea. One. I don't even have to tell them to melt into each other because they already are. They're in love. I think about her every single second of my day. She's inspired me. She's changed my life. I am in love. It was like all of a sudden they just revealed it, and then the fairy tale just kind of took flight. This is us. This is our story. <laughs>
to screams and hormones and everything. Motion and craziness. Yeah. Could be our first wedding on the show. Who's to say? Mary, coming to you. Oh, me, I'm feeling all kinds of strange emotions. It's so it's, it's so awesome to have you back on the show. And how did you luck out with... Thank you. Who would have known that that was going to happen or you were going to announce to the world? I mean, I, I feel like a weird, proud parent or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just uh -huh. weird. Yeah. I feel... I feel it's... Um, you know, we grow to love you guys and to see your love grow on the stage in more ways than one, apparently. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, it just means a lot, I know, to me and Nigel that this happens with some of our past oh. cast, and they stay together, and, you know, it's just part of our legacy of this rich show. Okay. That was also the longest kiss in history. You know, <laughs> it's a family thing. Me and Michaels always create something, whether it's a sunflower, a butt dance, hanging on a door frame. But that dive kiss together, where they just <laughs> dive to each other, you could have broken your noses. You'd have never, you could never have talked to each other again, for goodness sake. It was so beautiful. And, and hearing that story beforehand about you now finding each other, a anyone that's ever fell in love is going to be so touched, not just by that routine, but the way you both performed it. It was just beautiful. Vanessa, are you having a girly moment? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so special whenever art gets to reflect your personal life. And I feel like this is a moment, whether or not whatever happens in the future, that you will both be able to look back on and be like, oh, yes. Yes. Us. Yes. <laughs> um, all I know is that me and my boyfriend have a lot of kissing moves to work on. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah. Me and Michaels will choreograph you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lex and Taylor. Tonight, we celebrate all of our stars from across the season, but only one will be named America's favorite dancer. So get ready, America, as we kick things off with a very special Macy's extravaganza. Welcome to the finale of So You Think You Can Dance.
grew up watching So You Think You Dance. I watched the show since season two. And now I'm on the show and other people are watching me, which is crazy. I've literally envisioned myself dancing on the stage in front of Nigel and Mary, and then to be here actually top four of So You Think You Can Dance, I, it's amazing. I feel like if I were to win, it wouldn't be just for me. I've sacrificed a lot. My family sacrificed a lot. My parents, my brother are all involved in this, and they've done so much for me. I am so proud of myself, but I just feel like I'm making my parents proud and my brother proud, and that is the best feeling for me. It was definitely an awesome experience. Even if I don't take the title, I feel like I've proven a lot of things to myself. Man, winning this thing might be a game changer for me. It would absolutely be amazing. I just can't even explain. It would mean the world to me. I'm just gonna pray for the best and do my best. It's an honor to be here, and I just, I really hope that I win. I mean, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome back to the finale of So You Think You Can Dance. It's time for another incredible performance from this season. So, Nigel, give us one of your favorite duets. There's been so many, but... There, there have, and it's, I'm just so excited about the show tonight as well. You know, whoever thought would hear Mary Murphy quote Plato on <laughs> So You Think You Can Dance? Oh, she's very highbrow. She <laughs> really was. I mean, she stunning. She really is, yeah. Um, this is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. It showed me that they're not only great dancers, but they have beautiful control. And it was before we knew there was a romance going on, and you just felt the chemistry between them. So, obviously, it's Lex and Taylor doing the Spencer Lift choreography to a George Gershwin number, An American in Paris. I absolutely adored this routine. Absolutely, it was beautiful. So here they are with an encore performance. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lex and Taylor. <laughs> A true story, Kat, after I watched this number last week, I was going back to my hotel, and in the lobby, a hundred pizzas were being delivered, and I'm not kidding. They were just people carrying them in every Mary, kind of direction. Yeah. Not easy, I not a hundred pizzas, a hundred. I mean, oh my goodness, and I just looked at my cousin, Sharon, and I just laughed, you know, and they say if we can find laughter in our life every single day, we're a wealthy person, and these two brilliant dancers, I mean to tell you, they had me laughing out loud in my seat. I had the best time, and they, they, with their genius delivery of it all, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Not only was their dancing amazing, but the sense of humor was just 
brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant. Perfect. And by the way, there was, uh, I think there's like 3 million views already online just from last week. Wow. We already it's knew you were a lady with taste, Mary so. Murphy. <laughs> we already knew that. But taste oh. for pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Party in Murphy's I room afterwards. Uh, well, I hope you bought your appetite, America. Are you ready to see it again? <laughs> so good. It's Lex and Coyne. It's for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore. Can love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can't make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. performance though is it went so much smoother than it did in rehearsals remember rehearsals take a look L is for the way you look at me O is for the only one he was persistent. He wasn't leaving without a tip. Right, let's hear it for them, ladies and gents. Put your hands together. Without further ado, put your hands together for Travis Wall and Lex.
kick. Let's see what Gabby chose as her favorite dance of the season. Take a look. Lex and I have done a lot of different styles on the show. Broadway, tango, tap, contemporary. But my favorite duet was our hip hop duet. You just kill it. You sat in that pocket. You were low. You were dirty. It was just fire. It was hot. Insane. Just so good. It's insane. insane. <laughs> Luther Brown came in and just gave us a fun dance that showcased Lex's ability in hip hop and also mine. I am so excited to do this piece. Let's go. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. But listen, none of them with some counterfeits. But now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. Who say with my boobay tastes like boobay for the analyst? Girl, I can buy your world with my face stuff. I know that it's good. Won't you sit it on my taste plus? I can't wait to. America's favorite dancer. So, can the top four please come and join me on stage? It is time for some results. The audience are on their feet. Let Taylor, Kiki, and Koine. After millions of America's votes, the dancer in fourth place tonight is... Kiki. Congratulations to the other three. Thank you, guys. Well done. It's like boxes of frogs here in the studio. Right. Now, we've already revealed serious face again. We've already revealed Kiki was our fourth place finalist. The rest is still in the running. Could the top three come back on stage for me, please? Okay, it is time for some more results. Deep breath, Vanessa Hudgens. After over 100 performances and 152 million online viewers, the dancer in third place tonight is... Taylor. Congratulations to Lex and Koine. You are still in the competition. You guys can leave the stage for me. Welcome back to the season 14 finale of So You Think You Can Dance! Either Koine or Lex is about to walk away with a quarter of a million dollars and be named America's favorite dancer. It's time for the final results of the season. It just says exactly what it said before on the card, so I'm gonna say, you guys have been incredible. You have been amazing dancers. You have blown us away every week, and we are very thankful for your performances. So that, I 
right, now I can tell you that the winner of So You Think You Can Dance, America's favorite dancer is Lex. <laughs> I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And I am going to say congratulations to Koine. Give me this other hand. And Lex is America's favorite dancer. You guys. How do you feel getting this far? Oh my god, it's been a blessing. Every moment of this journey, I can't thank this family that I've created. You guys are very yeah. special to me. And Lex, you deserve this more than anybody else. How do you feel? What are you going to remember? Um, I mean, I'll remember every second of it. Mm -hmm. Like, it was an honor being on this stage and using this as a platform for myself and mm -hmm. for other people as well. And Gabby, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Come on up here, Gabs. Come on up here. Everybody up here. Get up here. It's been an honor to watch you. Let's hear it for you one more time, Lex. Thanks to everyone who's made this season so special. Our incredible dancers. Keep it, our all-stars, the choreographers, the judges, and